Outrun is an arcade game released by Sega in 1986. It was designed by Yu Suzuki and developed by Sega 2AM. The game was a critical and commercial success, becoming one of the best-selling video games of its time, winning the Golden Joystick Award for Game of the Year, and being listed among the best games of all time. It is notable for its innovative hardware, pioneering graphics and music. Innovative features such as offering the player choices in both soundtrack and non-linear routes, and its strong theme of luxury and relaxation. In retrospective interviews, Yu Suzuki has classified Outrun not as a racing game, but as a driving game. Gameplay Outrun is a 3D third-person racing game. The player controls a car, a Ferrari Testarossa Spider, from a rear third-person perspective. In contrast to other third-person racing games at the time where the camera is some distance above the horizon to see into the distance, Outrun places the camera near the ground, directly behind the car, simulating a Ferrari driver's perspective view and limiting the player's view into the distance. The road also curves and dips, which, combined with the low perspective, increases the challenge by making it difficult to see what is on the other side of a hill. The player must race to the end of each stage as fast as possible against a time limit while avoiding traffic. At the end of each stage, the player is presented with a fork in the road where the player must choose one of two stages. The left route presents an easier stage, while the right offers a greater challenge. Passing through checkpoints awards the player with extra time. Once the timer reaches zero or the player completes the race, the game ends. In addition to the non-linear gameplay, OutRun also offered the choice of music to listen to while driving, represented as radio stations. History and Development the arcade game features raster graphics on a color court monitor and amplified stereophonic sound. There are a total of four cabinet designs, all of which are equipped with a steering wheel with force feedback, a stick shift plus acceleration and brake pedals. The upright cabinet came in two versions, normal and mini. The sit-down cabinets resembled the in-game car and used a drive motor to move the main cabinet, turning and shaking according to the on-screen action. There were two versions of the sit-down. The deluxe version featured a 26-inch color monitor and a custom-molded seat, while the standard featured a more simplified design and a 20-inch color monitor. Running on the Sega OutRun arcade system board, OutRun achieved its 3D effects using a sprite scaling technique called Superscalar technology. This allowed a large number of scaled sprites to be displayed on the screen at the same time, like the Sega Space Harrier games. The pseudo 3D sprite tile scaling in OutRun was handled in a similar manner to textures in later texture mapped polygonal 3D games of the 1990s. Sega 2AM SU Suzuki stated that his designs were always 3D from the beginning. All the calculations in the system were 3D, even from Hang On. I calculated the position, scale, and zoom rate in 3D and converted it backwards to 2D. So I was always thinking in 3D. Most previous racing games had commonly used a bird's eye view. Outrun had great amounts of roadside detail and a camera that appeared to travel along the road with the car, passing through the action rather than merely observing it. According to the game's designer, Yu Suzuki, the stages of OutRun are mostly based on European scenery. He had toured Europe for a period of two weeks in order to gain insight on how to design the game's levels and capture as much realism as possible. His original concept was to base the game on the Cannonball Run but he switched the setting to Europe which offered greater landscape variation. The game's backgrounds and roadside objects include the old stone buildings, the Alps, windmills, and Stonehenge-like formations. Other stages include Devil's Canyon and Death Valley. Music The game's accompanying music was written by Hiroshi Kawaguchi, who had previously composed soundtracks for other games designed by Yu Suzuki. 
and was part of Sega's official band at the time, the SST Band. Outrun was the first video arcade game that allowed the user to choose the background music, a soundtrack of both laid-back beach music and some Miami sound machine-styled Latin Caribbean beats. The three tracks were titled Passing Breeze, Splash Wave and Magical Sound Shower. An additional track, Last Wave, played after completion of the game when a player could insert their initials next to their score. The Sega Master System's Outrun 3D contains the additional tracks Color Ocean, Shining Wind and Midnight Highway, written by Chikako Kamatana while the 1991 Mega Drive Sega Genesis port features an extra track entitled Step On Beat, written by Masayoshi Ishii. Meanwhile, the Nintendo 3DS version features two additional tracks known as Cruising Line and Kamino Amiyamor, composed by Manabu Namiki and Jay Nevelin Nisperos, respectively. Home Conversions Outrun was ported to many of the home consoles and computer systems of the time. Due to the various hardware limitations of these systems compared to the dedicated arcade hardware, some ports came bundled with a bonus cassette tape featuring the original arcade versions of the game's soundtrack. The idea being that the player could listen to the true versions while playing rather than the limited home computer renditions if they were available at all. Sega Master System Sega Master System Stereoscopic version titled Outrun 3D which supports Sega Scope 3D glasses. Commodore 64 Ported by Amazing Products and programmed by Martin D. Webb. Missing Road Forks Map and Passing Breeze Girl Has Dark Hair Not Blonde Number plate on Ferrari was changed to GOF64 Amstrad CPC Missing Map in game music available through audio tape and car flip Sinclair ZX Spectrum Missing Map in game music on 48K Passing Breeze and Car Flip MSX Packaged with Soundtrack Cassette MSX2, Amiga, Atari Street, PC DOS, NEC PC Engine, Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Sega Saturn, Mobile Phone, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, Inside Shenmue 2, and the compilation Yu Suzuki Game Works Volume 1. Game Boy Advance, part of Sega Arcade Gallery compilation, Xbox, Inside Shenmue 2 and also Inside Outrun 2, Nintendo 3DS, released as both standalone product and part of Sega 3D Fukoku archives, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, Inside Jackos Zero, Reception. Commercial reception upon release in 1986, Outrun became one of the most popular games in the arcades at the time. It was the best-selling arcade game of the year, having sold over 20,000 arcade cabinets within a year. It went on to sell 30,000 arcade cabinets worldwide as of 1994. The 8-bit computer game ports published by US Gold in 1987 sold over 200,000 copies within two weeks during the pre-Christmas period, making Outrun the fastest-selling game in the UK up until that time. The home computer versions eventually sold over 250,000 copies by Christmas 1987, making Outrun the best-selling computer game of 1987 in the UK. Critical reception The arcade version was well received upon release. Commodore user reviewed the arcade game in its March 1987 issue, describing it as a great game for driving enthusiasts and giving it a score of 9 out of 10. In the January 1987 issue of Computer and Video Games, Claire Edgley gave the arcade game a positive review, stating that the low viewpoint of the road and swaying motions of the car make it a very exciting game to play. She compared it to Konami's rival WEC Le Mans giving Le Mans the edge for movement, but noted that many seem to prefer Outrun. Claire Edgley reviewed the arcade game again in the February 
1987 issue of Sinclair User, where she criticized the use of blondes to portray glamour, but stated that where Outrun scores is with its graphics, noting that they're better than W.E.C. Le Mans due to the angle you view them, because the Ferrari is so low slung, and two feet off the ground, the player can't see far ahead and when cresting a hill, you don't know what's on the other side, giving it a danger element, concluding that it is an unusual view and one that works brilliantly in the April 1987 issue of Crash. Gary Penn also gave the arcade game a positive review, describing how the roadway curves and dips and the 3D scrolling as wonderful and stated that the game is highly polished praising the excellent music, graphics and sound and attention to detail, such as the way the female passenger wags an admonishing finger after a crash. He described the complete cockpit implementation as a thrilling experience and gave it the edge over W.E.C. Le Mans in both gameplay and presentation, concluding that Outrun's moving cockpit is more believable, and the added touches make the whole thing more believable. In the August 1987 issue of Your Sinclair, Peter Shaw described it as the most frighteningly fast road race game I've ever played, and praised the realism, noting how, when you bump into things, like the road edge, cars, trucks and trees, the whole machine rocks and vibrates and the steering wheel wobbles in your hand, he recommended the deluxe version, with its moving cabinet, 26-inch monitor and 1,888K graphics memory, concluding that, it's fantastic, the 8-bit console Sega Master System port released in 1987 was also, well received. It received a score of 9 out of 10 from the October 1987 issue of Computer and Video Games, which concluded that Outrun on the Sega has all the thrill power of the arcade version. It also received scores of 852 out of 1000 from the British Ace magazine, and 17 out of 20 from the Finnish Tilt magazine. The game's machine gave the Master System version a score of 72%, stating that, of all the versions, the Master System port comes closest to the original coin-op, but that, nonetheless, it does suffer in comparison to the arcade original. It was reviewed in 1988 in Dragon No. 137 by Hartley, Patricia, and Kirk Lesser in The Role of Computers column, where the reviewers gave the game 4.5 out of 5 stars. They described it as a racing simulation, with refreshing differences, pointing to the branching paths and music selection choices and praising the game as a very fine Sega simulation that provides hours of entertainment. Computer Gaming World named it as the year's best arcade. Translation for Sega The French magazine Generation 4 gave it an 82% score that same year. Outrun 3D, a 1989 version that supports the Master System's Sega 3D glasses, received a top A grade from the video game critic in 2011. The reception for the 8-bit personal computer ports published by U.S. Gold were generally mixed, depending on the quality of the conversions. The ZX Spectrum version received positive to average reviews. It received positive scores from your Sinclair, which gave it 8 out of 10, and from Sinclair User, which gave it scores of 8 out of 10 in March 1988 and 81% in November 1990. Crash Magazine gave the Spectrum version a 72% score based on three individual reviewers, Nick, BYM, and Mike giving scores of 93%, 63%, and 59% respectively, with the latter two reviewers expressing disappointment at the lower conversion quality in comparison to the arcade original. The game's machine gave the Spectrum version a score of 61%, noting the machine's technical limitations in comparison to the Master System and Commodore systems. The Commodore 64 and Commodore 128 versions received positive to average reviews. 
The game's machine gave the Commodore 64 and 128 versions a 67% score, higher than the Spectrum port but lower than the Master System version. The Australian Commodore and Amiga Review magazine gave the Commodore 64 version a high 95% score. Computer and Video Games which referred to the arcade original as the ultimate coin-op driving game of described the Commodore 64 port as a rush conversion and gave it an overall score of 24 out of 40. The Amstrad CPC port received a negative review from computer and video games, which described this version as a travesty and gave it a score of 8 out of 40. The 16-bit Atari Street version published by U.S. Gold in 1988 was more well-received than their earlier 8-bit computer ports. Computer and video games gave the Saint version a positive review and an overall score of 7 out of 10, including 7 out of 10 for each of the three categories of graphics, sound, and playability. The magazine stated that, though this version is a far from perfect conversion, it comes closer to the arcade original than the other computer ports. Ace magazine gave the Atari Street version a high score of 873 out of 1000, while the game's machine gave it a 79% score, noting that it is an admissible conversion if an incredible coin op, but is still lacking in comparison to the original arcade game. In 1989, Ace magazine gave U.S. Gold's 16-bit Amiga port a score of 822 out of 1000, while the game's machine gave it a 75% score. The 16-bit console Mega Drive Genesis version of the game released by Sega in 1991 received a score of 85% from the Swedish Svenska Hemdartornet magazine that same year. This version later received a score of 9 out of 10 from Sega 16 in 2004, and a top A grade from the video game critic in 2008. Awards in 1988, Outrun was voted as 1987's Game of the Year at the Golden Joystick Awards, beating Renegade and The Last Ninja for the award. Outrun also received the Arcade Game of the Year Award, beating Renegade and Bubble Bobble for the award. Outrun has been listed among the best games of all time, by publications such as Next Generation, Retro Gamer, Stuff, and Time, as well as organizations such as G4, Killer Lister Video Games, Now Gamer, and Yahoo. Writing in 1001 video games you must play before you die, Joao Diniz Sanchez praised Outrun's unforgettable design and expertly tuned game balance, describing the title as the consummate exhibit in an oversubscribed genre and one of the purest and most joyous experiences in video gaming. Legacy in the arcades, Outrun was followed up in 1989 by Turbo Outrun. Turbo Outrun was a checkpoint racer in which the player drove from New York City to Los Angeles in 16 stages. It featured a rock and fuse soundtrack. As with all Outrun games aside from Outrun 2, this is named by Yu Suzuki as an unofficial sequel. Another unofficial sequel came in 1992 with Outrunners, returning the game to its roots by bringing back the forks in the road. Head-to-head -head support appeared in the game for the first time, and if arcade cabinets were linked, up to eight drivers could race against each other. The game also featured eight different cars for people to drive in. It was the most successful game released for Sega's system Multi32 hardware, and one of the last successful 2D games released by Sega. In 2003, the series made the jump to 3D graphics with the arcade release of Outrun 2. Yu Suzuki, the creator of the original Outrun, was on hand to bring his vision up to date earning Outrun 2 great critical acclaim and the distinction of being the first official sequel to the original. The Xbox release added features such as new cars, new audio tracks and even a fully playable version of the original Outrun. An updated version of Outrun 2 was released in arcades in 2004 entitled Outrun 2 SP. This expanded upon the original by offering a plethora of tracks to drive through, including the original map.
It also improved on graphics and added more tunes to listen to while driving. It featured the 512 BB and 250 GTO, which were also featured in the Xbox version of the original OutRun 2. In turn, OutRun 2 was succeeded by OutRun 2006. Coast 2 Coast, developed for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, Xbox and Microsoft Windows. The game combines all the courses from OutRun 2 and OutRun 2 SP while adding additional features of its own, such as special car models, new game modes and more audio tracks. It also contains an OutRun 2 SP mode itself, meant to be an exact arcade port of OutRun 2 SP. OutRun Online Arcade was released on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network in 2009. This downloadable game included only the tracks from OutRun 2 SP. There are three other unofficial OutRun games that were only released for home systems. Outrun Europa, Battle Outrun, and Outrun 2019. On the Sega Master System, there is also a special version of Outrun which makes use of the 3D glasses add-on. Coconut Beach, the first stage in Outrun, makes an appearance in Sega Superstars Tennis as a playable court. A course based on the series, named Outrun Bay, appears in Sonic and All-Stars Racing transformed as a free download to those who purchase the bonus edition. The game also features Ryo Hazuki from Shenmue as a playable character, driving an Outrun sit-down arcade cabinet during land-based portions of a race. The car the Mii drives is inspired by the car on the box art of the home ports. In 2015, OutRun appeared at fourth place on IGN's list of the top 10 most influential racing games ever, behind pole position, Gran Turismo and Virtua Racing. According to Luke Riley, OutRun's S selectable radio stations, undulating tracks, and a killer cockpit-style cabinet was unlike any racing game out there in 1986. He said it proved to be a hugely influential force on the genre and traces of OutRun DNA can be found in series like Test Drive, Need for Speed, PGR, and Burnout, as well as modern racers like the Forza Horizon games and Drive Club.